this one went in here and then I've got another one over here that I'm gonna cut as well start breaking this thing free I could try to pull it off but you know to be honest there's not a lot of leverage back here so oh shit okay well, there you go. my name is Rick and I have a sailboat on the San Francisco Bay Join me as I refit Sailing Vessel Frog's Leap with an eye towards taking her to warmer places. I get to spend only a few days each month on the boat. That's why I call the channel Marina Queen. All right, it's time to go clean the boat. It's pretty nasty. So got my trusty bucket. And I do have a broom I'm going to use. And I use this stuff. And I didn't buy it. I mean, it, it was on the boat when I bought it. So, but, so I won't mention the brand here, but it's a, it's a boat wash, biodegradable. Yeah, so they say three capfuls. So here we go. Interesting. It's got like a weird. Oh, you know what? That's just the. All right, here we go. That be three capfuls, I should say. And I'm gonna grab my brush, and I'm also gonna grab a scrubber because some of the areas on the sides here they got really mossy. In the, over the winter like green and I'm gonna hit that with a green pad just to make sure it comes off because uh, it wasn't on there when I bought the boat <laughs> I might use one of these little bitties that's why I had them anyway but these this does look like it would probably do a good job birth I just finished the wash down and that was a lot of work there's a lot of wood on the deck and the woods varnished and I think when they put it on there was some varnish that splashed like onto the deck little spots that were imperceptible when it was put on but then over time they would collect dust and stuff and become these black dots. I got most of them up. Some of them are in between the grooves of the non-skid. So those ones are kind of hidden and might have to hit them with a few different uh, salvos. <laughs> I have this solar fan in here and I can stop it. Well, those bearings are kind of loud too. It's nice when I stop it. It'd be nice if there was a way to like stop it while I'm filming. Hello friends, if you're enjoying this channel, please consider subscribing. Yeah. So in a previous episode, I showed you where the water heater is. 
and I took out the starboard side mounting screw on that water heater now the one that's on the port side is harder to get to so i'm gonna have to try to get to it through the lazarette first thing i need to do is every time i go in the lazarette is i gotta empty the lazarette So I'm in the lazarette. I'm going to show you what I'm looking at down here. So the vertical pipe houses the rudder post and the gray box behind it is the water heater. And we're clearly not going to be able to access the water heater from here in the lazarette. So we saw the flow of water here surprise me at the beginning of the episode. and that water is going to make its way back to the bilge so it's not a problem but it's clear to me at this point that I'm not going to be able to get the water heater out of the boat from the opening that's afforded to me. I'm going to have to do some carpentry work. This is pretty heavy because it still has some water in it. water. <laughs> Come on down here. Oh. Woo. So I'm working on getting the water heater out of this little cubby hole and I got it out but some of the water came out of this thing and it is just gross. Look at this. So here it is. I got it outside of the... It's nice. I can put the water pump there now. This will go away, but look how nasty. That's the water inside of the water heater. So, you know, so gross. So far, so good. I plugged these up because that nasty water was coming out. So Seaward, at least my understanding is that this is the company that is today building Island Packets. But they were, my understanding now, I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments. But my understanding is Seaward was a supplier to Island Packet before they bought the company.
new episode every Sunday. I'm not-